Hello everybody and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we are asking maybe a slightly controversial question, which is, should Taylor Swift move on from working with Jack Antonoff? I know, I know. A lot of people are going to have a lot of opinions about this. So before we get into my thoughts and feelings surrounding this topic, I just want to preface and say, you guys know how much I love Taylor Swift. I have I have a whole channel dedicated to Taylor Swift. So this is not, I'm not coming at Taylor. I'm not hating on Taylor. None of that. But I think when you are a fan of somebody, you are allowed to have and to share thoughtful criticism, to suggest certain things, to ask certain questions. So I want everyone to know, I love Taylor. I love her music. But I also think it's okay to have thoughts and feelings and to maybe not always love every aspect of everything that she does. I also know there's a lot of people out there who love Taylor and Jack working together, who never want Taylor to work with any other producer, blah, 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 blah. So all I'm asking from all of you watching before we get into it is just that you are respectful and kind in the comments. I appreciate other people's perspectives and point of points of view, but just remember that just because I feel a certain way about something and you don't, doesn't mean that I'm wrong and you're right and vice versa. So now that we have that out of the way, I think it's important to take, to go back to when Taylor and Jack first worked together, the first album they worked together, which was on 1989, which is one of Taylor Swift's best albums, I think undisputedly so. It is truly a masterpiece. It is an album that really like redefined Taylor as an artist. It brought her into this pop world after being the country girl. Obviously Red was kind of a mix of pop country. I mean, lots of her other albums were as well, but 1989 was really her first foray into the pop world and her first time working with Jack Antonoff. And she worked with lots of other people on that album, Max Martin, Imogen Heap, yada yada, but she made some excellent songs with Jack. And then they continued this relationship with Reputation, with Lover, Folklore, Evermore, Midnights, and now the Tortured Poets Department. I think we have reached a point in their working relationship as collaborators, as partners, where they've kind of run its course for now. That's my feeling on it. It has been a decade since they first worked together. And I think initially when they worked together and even still up until Torture Poets Department, there is still great stuff that they're coming up with and making. But there was a fr um, freshness. There was a, there was something different and unique about the music that they were putting together and creating when they first started working together in a sound that was different than anything we'd ever heard from Taylor Swift before that has now become a sound we know Taylor Swift to be. And what I mean by that too is like, I don't feel like there's much variance between Tortured Poets Department and Midnight's, which maybe is what she wanted. And maybe that was what she was going for. But I feel like for her next piece of work. And listen, I hope Taylor Swift takes a much deserved time off from creating music, if, she, if that's what she wants. But I think she deserves to take a handful of years off from putting out, putting out albums, putting out records. Like she has given us so much music, if you also include the re-recordings and everything, in a very short amount of time. But I hope that with the next record she puts out, she allows herself the ability to pivot a little bit. But I wanted to just go through, because I think there's been a lot of discourse over the last handful of days, especially since Torture Poets Department has come out, of people saying, okay, the Taylor and Jack era needs to be done. They need to move on. It's getting to be too much of the same, blah, 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 blah. I think that's somewhat true. I also think it's important to acknowledge the absolutely incredible songs that we have gotten from Taylor and Jack over the years. Songs like Out of the Woods, which is an all-time classic, Getaway Car, Cruel Summer, okay? Cruel Summer was a Jack Antonoff produced song. I don't think people really give Jack Antonoff enough credit <laughs> for that song because as we know, it is a certified bop, okay? August, My Tears Ricochet. I mean, I could go on and on and on about the number of great songs that we've gotten from Jack. 
But I think it's also safe to say that his sound is very recognizable. And we, I think as Taylor fans, and even if you're a fan of his other work that he's done with Lord, Lana Del Rey, you can kind of spot a Jack Antonoff sound pretty, pretty easily. Like he, he definitely has a distinct sound and a distinct way of making music. And I think with him and Taylor and their relationship, they've gotten to this place where they're both like making solid, good music, but it's, it's pretty safe. It's pretty comfortable. It's, I wouldn't say it's breaking the mold. I wouldn't say it's super innovative right now. Currently, as we stand with Taylor Swift, it was innovative back in 2014 when she put out 1989, 2017 when she puts out Reputation, like, cause it was so different for Taylor. But now we've gotten used to the synth pop Taylor Swift. A lot of it is the same. Now, I also want to say, cause people have been saying like, oh, Taylor needs to break up with Jack or stop working with Jack so that she can make better music. Well, I wanna just say, Taylor's calling her own shots. Like Taylor Swift is not putting out music that she doesn't like and that she doesn't believe in. If she didn't like something, she wouldn't put it out. So Jack is creating work and then Taylor is saying, I like that, I don't like that. So I, I don't wanna act like this is Jack Antonoff's, um, he's the one that's calling all the shots and creating the sound and like Taylor has no agency. Of course, Taylor is, Taylor is the boss. She, she says what she wants and what she doesn't want. However, I do feel like they're at this place where they're not really pushing each other anymore because they know it works. They know they've done this so many times that they know how to make a song that is good. But because they're so comfortable with each other, there's not that like, I don't feel like they're stretching the limits of what they could achieve any longer because again, they're pretty safe. They've, they've been playing it pretty safe over the last couple years. Now, I think there is an argument to be made that Taylor specifically wanted to work with Jack and, and also Aaron Desner on this album because this album is pretty heavy. It's emotional. It's full of anger and sadness and depression and, and these really deep, difficult, dark emotions. She's working through lots of really personal situations, personal stories. And I can imagine that she would want to work with somebody who she really loves and trusts and cares for her and someone that are people that she considers to be very close friends. And obviously Taylor has a very close relationship with both Jack and also Erin that I can understand given the material, she would want to go back to an an environment where she feels comfortable and safe. So I don't I don't fault her for working with Jack and Aaron again. And again, they they on this album, they make some good songs together. But I also think she, at least moving forward, could open herself up to working with new people, to trying something different out, to working with new sounds, to just bringing in some freshness that I think could not only introduce her to new stuff, but also could allow Taylor to kind of come up with different creative ideas um, just because she's in a new environment working with new people. I think that that naturally brings out freshness. Um, now, and I also wanna say, this doesn't mean that I don't think Taylor and Jack should never work together ever again. I think in a really wonderful world, these two would go off and they would work with different people and Taylor would go off and make an album with some new, new people, per, producers, Jack would work with some new people. They would kind of take some time to just creatively stretch their wings. And then in five years or however many years down, down the road, they then kind of can come back together having had these different perspectives, these different opportunities, working with different people, being influenced by different sounds, artists, etc. And then could really bring those different things to each other to then make great art once again. So I don't think it's a negative to say Taylor and Jack's time should probably be done because we we also saw it with Taylor's early work too. She worked with a producer, Nathan Chapman, on a lot of her early records, on a lot of her early stuff, Fearless, Speak Now, Red, etc. And when she reached her 1989 era, she she recognized the need to branch out and work with new people and new producers. And I think we're kind of reaching that same point now with Jack, where I think it's now time for her to work with new people, try try different things. And I think we're seeing, especially in the pop world, like the landscape is changing. There's different artists that are breaking through that are 
that are trying unique ways of making music. Um, And I think those people could really bring something very interesting to Taylor Swift's sound as we go forward, as we move into the next phase of her life. So that the, those are my thoughts on Taylor and Jack and where I think they should go next, how I feel about their relationship currently. I really like, a, and I just want to make sure that that's very clear. I think they have made some absolutely all-time iconic music together. No one will ever be able to take that away from them. I am so grateful to Jack Antonoff for what he's done with Taylor over the course of her career and how he's helped her to evolve as an artist and grow. I think he's done wonders for her. And I also think it's time for her to work with other people too. So that's that on that. I would love to know in the comments, again, your thoughts on Taylor and Jack's relationship, where you want to see Taylor go next, who you want to see her work with. Um, Share all your feelings, thoughts, concerns. I want to read them all. As always, subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.